you have to have macro security set to low. You go to File Options, Trust Center, Trust Center Settings, and in Macro Settings, uh, you would enable all macros. You can use this for testings. Once you're sure it's set correctly, you can come back in here and change it to Notifications for Digitally Signed Macros. For testing, we use Enable All Macros. First thing we need to do is save the two files. Right click on one and choose Save All Attachments. And we want to create a new folder under My Documents called Merged Docs. Double click on that and click OK to save it. If there are no logos on a contact, you'll need to replace it with a white JPEG. So we're going to save that one also. That one goes into a folder called Logos. That's under Merge Docs. So we create the folder and then save the file. Now we have the macro is saved under Merge Docs. We could also get it off of the uh, email. I'm going to select all and copy it. Press Alt F11 to open the Visual Basic Editor. This is expanded because I've been working in it. Uh, if it's not expanded, if you don't have any macros in it, it'll uh, be Project 1 expanded until you see this Outlook session. It can actually go in a module if you prefer. You can right click and click Insert Module and paste it in there instead. You see we've got Merge Docs is going into Logos. For testing, I'm not going to uh, send it to a printer yet uh, because I'm testing it and I'm not going to save the document. Go back into Outlook and over to Contacts. I've already created the uh, a toolbar button for it, but let me remove that and show you how that's done. Under Choose Commands From, we're going to choose Macros, and we'll select the macro that we're going to put it, make a toolbar command for. We need to add a new group on the ribbon side and then click Add to add that to the group. If you want it up higher, just drag it up. Select the name of the macro and click Rename. You can choose a picture, and then you can make a friendly name for it. We'll just make it simple like that. Click OK. Now that we have our button ready, you need to create your document or open the template I sent you. Uh, this will have the merge fields in that you need. You've got your uh, placeholder here that's holding, that's going to hold the logo. We go back to Outlook and select the contacts that we want to use. Uh, hold Control as you select them. Or you can hold Shift and select the first and last. And now click the Mail Merge Contact Photo button. And that will run. You can see it's opening the documents on the screen for us. If we have a logo, it's putting it into the spot. It is not uh, scaling them uh, to fit within that area. So if they're not all the same size, it's going to uh, look bad. Let's see. And if there's no logo, it's going to leave that just the blank spot. Once you're ready to, uh, you know, print them, you just have to send it to the printer. I'll close all of these. You can send them immediately to the printer by removing the comment from in front of the printout line 
turns it black and then that's when you run the macro it'll send everything to the printer if you wanted to save the documents uh, immediately you can remove the comments from those lines as well we need it on that first one okay we'll go back to Outlook and we're going to run the contact macro this will send it to OneNote as a printer and this is the one that doesn't have a contact photo if we go back to our documents you can see that we've got uh, the four documents are saved there and of course the logos are there we've already saved the white one into that folder once you are happy with the macro and everything is working correctly and you don't have to make any changes open Windows Explorer if you had 32-bit office it would be under the x86 uh, go into root office 15 and we'll find self cert open it type in a name for your certificate you can use your name you can use anything I'm gonna call it Outlook macros and click OK now we go into the visual basic editor choose digital signature click choose we're going to select the certificate I just created and click OK save it and go in here and set the trust center to give us notification for all digitally signed macros close that when we close this we're going to be asked to be, save the project click yes even though we saved it earlier open Outlook we're going to select a couple of names and click the button we're, the first time we use it we're asked if we want to trust uh, the macros that are signed by this publisher we choose trust all documents from this publisher this will trust anything signed with that and now the macro will work